Well in this tutorial we're actually going to set things up so that we have a fly-through animation of our scene. Um, this is quite easy to do in Blender but it's a case of uh, really controlling the artistic look of things. Now our city as it is for a fly-through is not really that big so I'm going to do uh, duplicate. Remember how to do this? Shift and D and then drag the object across and oh look we go to rotate and what's happening there the rotation is occurring around the original object um, rather than the center of this uh, four-piece city if you like you can see the little um, uh, center or sphere there so what I'm going to do is change the position of the center so put your 3d cursor right in the middle make sure your editing context buttons are on and then click this button here center cursor just click it once what that does is center the object on the cursor that's a very useful feature you'll use that a lot I do anyway now you'll see that it's rotating around the center which makes it easier for aligning and things shift D rotate it around like we did on the original building the city and um, move it into position left click to confirm once you're in position basically we'll do the same thing I'm just basically making four more blocks as it were so we get a much larger city <clears throat> just keep doing this you know how to do it shift D to duplicate um, if you want to restrain uh, sorry, constrain the movement to one axis hold down the middle mouse button as you drag or rather after you start dragging and it'll constrain it to one axis you'll see that more in the modeling section tutorial uh, we, we will use that okay now we've got these four pieces of the city we're going to select them all remember how to do that you hold down the shift key as you select the uh, object control J join selected meshes and now that is all one mesh and whoops once again the rotation is off to one side because it's on the original um, uh, block of four that we created so put the 3d cursor in the middle click center cursor don't really need to do this at the moment but we will anyway and now you'll find that uh, the object is more or less um, centered um, there's other ways of centering things which we will cover later now obviously the empty is now off to one side so we'll put that somewhere near the center if we then look at the side view mouse wheel scroll in looking at the side view and put our empty um, near the top of one of the buildings uh, like we've done that before oops just want the empty selected that's it there we are now if we um, drag and move our camera around we can check the scene see how it looks from different angles which is what we've been doing all the time but now we're really thinking right how are we gonna fly through this scene how do we want it to look now one of the things is, is that we haven't changed obviously the setting for the mist and the mist is actually a little bit dense um, we can't see we've got a bigger city now and we can't see as many of the buildings as we would like in our scene so we come into the world buttons again and have a look where we've got the start and the density of the mist let's adjust the you have to play around with these settings let's adjust the start position and see what difference that makes click a render and oh that's better you can see a lot more of the city we're probably too many now there's not actually anything there um, disappearing into the mist at all in the background so it's just a case of um, playing around with these settings a little bit until you get the effect that you want because obviously all this varies according to the size of your scene and the size of the objects that you're using um, if we now just get the angle I move the camera up higher so we get a further further away view just to check yeah uh, I think I'd really like a bit more mist in there it would look okay like that but you know it's always worth making the extra little adjustment to make things look a bit better if we reduce the number for the where the start position of the the mist try a uh, try a value of eight let's see what that does yeah yeah some of these distant buildings now are disappearing into the mist a little bit more realistic in the scene okay now we've already got to think about how our animation is going to look so we look for some start positions and you know um, for a fly through I like to sort of see how it's going to look at the start of the fly through and the you know get a rough idea before we actually start putting in um, as it were marking positions as you will see what they call keys um, work out how we're going to make this animation look and what the scene is going to look like so if I now I'm grabbing the camera and it's moving it towards the empty um, getting an idea of how a fly through animation will look 
um, if we render around here say just to see how it would look is if we put the camera flying right over the central building there's our render of that now actually I'm going to make this city a bit larger um, relative to the camera because I think it would make it easier to control the fly through animation so you just use the S key for scale and we just do it a global scale so you do S and then drag the mouse and scale the whole city up and now look we've we render now <laughs> our camera is lower in the scene because obviously the buildings have all grown so we're going to have to adjust the initial start position of our camera or the, the height of the camera if we're going to keep it at a fairly static height through the scene so let's drag it out to um, between the buildings there adjust the height you can't actually see on the screen grab across to the right I'm looking at the image the camera view for to the right let's do a render there now yeah that's better so now the camera's a little bit lower in the scene and now we're going to start putting in our keyframes and you press the I for insert key on the keyboard and take the option there oh, I did it a bit quick but you'll see many more location rotation this window shows the current frame which is frame 1 and I'm like all the um, buttons and the numeric uh, windows in Blender you can click on them and insert manually. Now I'm going to put in number uh, 48 um, that's going to be roughly a couple of seconds of animation drag the camera to a new position uh, although you can't see it I'm looking at the um, view in the camera view to across to the right and then when you get like yeah I like that position you left click to confirm the position and then I key location rotation again and now if I click here you'll see the camera can you see the camera moving back through the frames as I move and if I move to the camera view you'll see it and if you do it on the scene that you're no doubt building you'll see the same thing oops I've gone into a building that's not quite right I've flown through and gone smash straight through a building which is not something that you would ordinarily expect to do so we need to make a little bit of adjustment there so what do we do well we adjust uh, in, add another keyframe but move the camera up so go to the um, make sure the camera selected which it, of course it is go to the side view uh, grab the camera with the G key move it up check in the image to the right I key location rotation now the camera's higher up okay so you can see that by putting in what they call keyframes into the animation you can quickly build a sequence of frames and a fly through like this quite simply incidentally you can also use the cursor now that shows the frame on that little number down the bottom left now there's no further uh, animation in there so it goes up to frame 48 and stops but if you carry on advancing the frame and through the frames there's no movement because there's no further keyframes in there at the moment so if we carry on advancing up we can add in further keyframes um, so now we're at frame 70 we can grab our camera move it to a new location incidentally you can advance keyframes by using the cursor keys on the keyboard if you use the right key and the left key cursor keys that advances one frame the up and down arrows it'll go 10 frames worth knowing